This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. A rainstorm is expected within the following week, which might bring along thunder. Here's your forecast for the week. Today, temperatures will range from 20 Fahrenheit to 47 Fahrenheit. It will be cloudy. On Saturday, temperatures will dip into the negatives and remain that way, the lowest being predicted as minus 2 Fahrenheit. And on Sunday, snow is expected. Temperatures will go as low as minus 15 Fahrenheit. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. We have some rain. Beware of wet and slippery roads when driving, and in case of thunder, which is very likely, close your umbrella and get indoors. The forecast has changed a bit. We now predict heavy rain for the next two days, and the possibility of snow on Sunday. This is NOAA Weather Radio serving Southern Minnesota, your number one fastest source for weather updates. This message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service. At 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm 3 miles from your area, valid until 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, within the area of Todd County, Morrison County, Benton County, Stearns County, Pope County, Douglas County, Ottertail County, and Wadena County. A thunderstorm is imminent in the previously mentioned areas. If you are within those areas, seek shelter indoors. Lightning might strike you, or your vehicle, if you are outside. If you are currently using an umbrella, close it, as lightning might strike it. Repeating, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm within the area of Todd County, Morrison County, Benton County, Stearns County, Pope County, Douglas County, Ottertail County, and Wadena County. You are advised to seek shelter indoors, if you are not already. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. Our weather is seemingly only getting worse. We started with mild rain and now we have hail. Our forecast doesn't help us much either. It is predicted to keep raining for the rest of the week, as well as snow. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. Our weather is seemingly only getting worse. We started with mild rain and now we have hail. Our forecast doesn't help us much either. It is predicted to keep raining for the rest of the week, as well as snow. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. Our weather is seemingly only getting worse. We started with mild rain and now we have hail. Our forecast doesn't help us much either. It is predicted to keep raining for the rest of the week, as well as snow. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood warning. At 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated an unprecedentedly big flash flood covering the entirety of Minnesota. This flash flood is a result of the very big storm which started at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At this time, the storm is still not over. You are urged to seek shelter immediately. 
If you do decide to seek shelter, do not use your house, as you can flood your house. If you live in an apartment block, you can safely enter it. Whenever entering shelter, mind to flood it as little as possible, but some water will have to enter. This flash flood right now has a depth of about 5 inches which is suspected to grow. This is a very dangerous amount of water, and could break a door under pressure. You are advised to fixate your door with heavy objects, in order to prevent the water breaking your door, and flooding your house. If you are outside, do not attempt to enter your house. Entering your house will only flood it. If you are in a car, pull over to the side of the road, and remain in your car. Otherwise, find a place with the least flooding, and stay there until this flood goes away. Repeating, the storm from approximately 7 hours ago has caused an unprecedentedly big flash flood covering the entirety of Minnesota, with a depth of approximately 5 inches. If you are driving, pull over to the side of the road. If you aren't driving, enter any shelter that isn't a house. Stay tuned to local news media outlets for rapid information on this very dangerous weather event. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. Last night was a wild ride. We experienced cold temperatures as low as minus 15 Fahrenheit. We didn't know and couldn't warn the public on time. We are sorry if you couldn't fall asleep because of the cold. It seems, however, that the rain has mostly stopped, and a forecast of snow is coming up. We now however have a much bigger problem than The National Weather Service has issued a special weather statement, at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, valid for all of Minnesota. The flash flood that occurred yesterday has frozen overnight. This is due to extremely cold temperatures occurring throughout the night. This has led to blocks of ice up to 9 inches thick, trapping people in their doors. Since this flash flood was everywhere, there is ice everywhere. If you are currently outside, please help others by removing ice around their doors, and or on roads. If you are currently indoors, try your best to break the ice in front of your door. If the ice is very thick in front of your door, you could also try melting it using a hairdryer or a heater. If both of these methods fail, and going outside is absolutely necessary, put on gloves, and try your best to break your windows, so that you can get out. If you get out, ensure you have high grip boots on you, and lots of pairs of clothing. Cover all of your skin when breaking out of the window as to not cut yourself. If you cut yourself, cover your wound immediately. If all of these methods fail, pray to whatever higher being you believe in, that you will get out soon enough to restock necessities. If you are cold, do not be afraid to clothe up, otherwise you are risking yourself for hypothermia. However the rain has mostly stopped. Blizzard warning for southern Minnesota. Valid until tomorrow, at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a blizzard 20 miles from your area, moving towards your area at 40 miles an hour. You are advised to stay indoors. If you cannot stay indoors, get under a tree. It is safe to do so. This blizzard is expected to last for a while, and so might pile up over the already thick ice on the ground. If that happens, people might be trapped in their homes for a very long time. If you can and are outside, you should work on getting some people out to prepare for the blizzard. 
These are very strange weather events and the cause of them is not yet known. Repeating, at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a blizzard 20 miles from your area, moving towards your area at 40 miles an hour. Stay indoors if possible. If not possible, stay under a tree. It is safe to do so. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. These are truly weird times. We have experienced so much rain to lock hundreds of people in their homes, and now this on top? We send our thoughts and prayers to everybody stuck in their homes right now, with no food. Government officials are trying to help people out of their homes by destroying the ice, but weirdly, it's a lot harder than regular ice. The National Weather Service has issued a special weather statement for the entirety of Minnesota. The blizzard from a few hours ago has worsened. The snow has been piling up on top of the thick ice, and has made the ice much harder to remove, along with the fact that mysteriously, when anybody gets to the ice and tries to break it, it is much tougher than regular ice. The winds generated by the blizzards have made temperatures extremely cold. You are advised to put on many layers of clothing to survive these very cold temperatures. Keep yourself hydrated, and if you can, Humidify your air, and pray to whatever God you believe in, you make it out alive. These are very weird and dangerous times of Mother Nature.